Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Jishnu and today I'll be sharing with you guys my experience of how I got into Red Hat as an intern for this winter. So this winter, uh, the internship duration is from Jan to June 2022. So I would like to share my interview experience uh, today. So first I've got the link to the application through LinkedIn and that's how I applied. So I didn't have an internship for this winter and I applied off. It's basically an off campus internship. So for those of you who don't know Red Hat, obviously uh, everyone knows what Red Hat is and Red Hat is basically an American company, which is, uh, be, uh, which has enterprise Linux, Red Hat enterprise Linux is their most important product. They also have OpenShift and such other products, mostly, uh, based on open source. So Red Hat, uh, is, yeah. So I was really interested and I've applied on, uh, on from LinkedIn so that's how uh, I have applied and for I've applied in around October or in the beginning of October so then I've got my exam link on uh, around 5th to 6th of October and the exam was scheduled to be on October 11th so the exam um, it was like I had three coding questions and two uh, and another three MCQs three or four MCQs so they were pretty simple the first round was of this uh, uh, three coding questions and three mcq questions they were pretty simple the coding questions were of the level like uh, easy to medium on lead code and the mcq questions in fact i have them here i can just read them out to you mcqs were also really easy uh, the first question that i had was linked lists are not suitable for implementing which of the following insertion sort binary search radix search radix sort and polynomial multiply manipulation so this is oh, this is one question the second question i had was which of the following statements is true about a doubly linked list it may or may not it 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 may be either linear or circular it may it may contain a head header node it will occupy the same memory space as uh, the linear linked list, but both of them have uh, the same number of nodes, both of them having the same number of nodes. So this was uh, the second question and coming to the third question, uh, which is the right answer to the following? How many four digit numbers are, have four digit whole numbers n are possible such that the last four digits of n square are the number n? So this was the third question that was there. So the third one, uh, so these three questions were uh, with the MCQs and the other three coding questions were mostly lead code, uh, easy to medium level. So this was the first round of the uh, uh, selection process of the hiring process. Uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you the stipend is 35,000 per month. And I think after conversion, the salary would be around 10 lakhs uh, per annum if uh, PPO, if you get a conversion so yeah so this was the first round of the interview i mean first round of the hiring process the second round was a technical interview round where i had uh, it was scheduled on november 10th or november 11th so i had uh, there were two interviewers in the uh, interview it was for around 45 minutes there were two interviewers and both of them like were from different domains and they were asking basically this is a this company is mainly oriented towards linux and obviously red hat enterprise linux is their most important product so most questions were based on linux only so uh, like the first yeah so most questions were like what commands do you what command do you use for this what command do you use for that etc so the interview started off like uh, it was like first they were looking at my resume and asking me uh, how much I have experience with Linux and uh, like that. So my local machine, my laptop normally itself I have Linux so that wasn't a problem. I told them that I have my local machine itself has Linux so I have good amount, good experience with Linux. And, and I told them that after that they asked me if... Uh, I had contributed to any open source projects or something like that. So I had actually contributed to an open source project called eSIM, which is in IIT Bombay, which is, a, which is an open source project by IIT Bombay. So I've told them about that. So immediately they opened my GitHub repository and then they checked about the project and then asked me a few questions about that. Uh, after that, they were, uh, that's one of the, one of the interviewers asked me this. The other interviewer, uh, he asked me if, uh, he asked, he was asking me about the commands, like, what command would you use to make a directory what command would you uh, 
uh, used to shift uh, uh, a particular file from one folder to the other etc and he asked me how do you have what command will you use to under to know the uh, version of the Linux to know the version of the kernel he asked me what is a kernel how is it different what is an operating system uh, and in Linux what does kernel mean so all these questions he was asking and then he asked then they were mostly about Linux only so he also asked me, they like they asked me if I have any more uh, uh, experience with Linux so I told them that I had inserted like, as a part of my operating systems uh, course in college I had inserted uh, my own modules into the Linux kernel so I told them about that that uh, they were actually asking me about the experience with the Linux kernel so then I told them about this that I've inserted uh, my own modules into the Linux kernel and uh, it, it's working so I, I told them about that so then they asked me if um, what command did I use to insert the uh, insert my own module what were the aspects I considered while inserting into a, in, inserting a module and also while inserting a module into the Linux kernel if it fails if the system crashes or if the system fails what what will you do in such a situation and and these kind of questions were asked after that um, uh, they were most mostly towards this yeah and then I also told them uh, uh, like in information security course in college I used Kali Linux and then for my virtualization course I used CentOS so uh, so these questions so I so when they asked me about what other experience I have with Linux I was continuous I was telling them one by one whatever uh, experiences I had uh, with Linux so uh, so yeah so then I told them about uh, uh, the CentOS I've used for virtualization and stuff so then they asked me CentOS is basically an upstream project right so they asked me do I have experience with did I contribute anything to the upstream project and uh, did I actually do any uh, upstream open source contributions so I told them about this eSIM and uh, stuff that that's when they checked it so after the after all after all this happened uh, uh, they, then they like the next questions were over like mainly then they asked me a few more commands like for uh, for I told them about cron job uh, like I've written a script for cron job etc then they asked me about shell scripting like how much experience I have with shell scripting shell scripting is basically commands like uh, a proper uh, shell script inside the bash file right so then when they asked me about how much experience I have with shell scripting I told them I don't have much experience uh, with shell scripting but uh, I, I understand what it is and I know how to do it so so they said okay fine but I told them about cron jobs and I've written my script for a cron job so then they told me uh, that's then they uh, then they said it's not really a proper shell script so I, I agreed with them I said yeah of course but that's all the experience I have I told them in such a way so they said okay fine uh, then uh, they asked me a few more commands about Linux what to do this what will you do to do that what will you what command will you use to check the I, as I already said to check the version to to, to open a new text editor uh, how will you quit a new text editor I mean how will you save what you've written into a text editor how will you uh, exit a text editor and so on so after all this uh, the interviewers then moved on to the programming languages so he asked me about uh, the other uh, interviewer she asked me about uh, like she used to give me a like uh, she asked me around four questions in Python so she gave me around four uh, small scripts of five five lines each or four four lines each she asked me to uh, convert it into one line in Python so mostly because in Python there's so many packages and libraries uh, I mostly I was able to do uh, I was able to solve them and I was able to give the uh, I was able to convert the program into a single line single co single line of code uh, after this was over she asked me like she gave me a few pieces of uh, code and then she asked me what is the error in this what is the what mistake is there something missing in this code etc so these kind of questions were asked they were pretty simple only after this uh, they were like uh, uh, they asked me about uh, the, the sent to us part they asked me uh, upstream projects were over shell scripting was over everything they asked coding questions they asked and then um, after all this was after shell scripting and everything was also over they were they came back to the uh, they one more important thing that they asked was 
दिस इज बेसिकली लिनक्स बेस्ड कंपनी एंड आई एंड यू हैव मोस्टली वर्क आई माय रेज्यूमे इज मोस्टली फिल्ड विद मशीन लर्निंग प्रोजेक्ट्स हैकाथॉन वेंस एंड ऑल दीस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स माय रिसर्च पेपर्स आल्सो मोस्टली अबाउट मशीन लर्निंग एंड दीस काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स सो दे आस्क्ड मी अबाउट दे दे सेड दैट योर रेज्यूमे इज मोस्टली बेस्ड ऑन मशीन लर्निंग एंड ऑल दीस आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस ऑल दीस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स बट इफ यू जॉइन रेड हैट यू विल हैव टू वर्क ऑन क्यूबनिटीज uh jo- jenkins docker and uh, open shift all these kind of technologies so will you be comfortable with that so i said sure i've never uh, worked on these uh, uh, significantly but i know what they are uh, and i can obviously learn to work on them so i told them about uh, this that i i'll 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 be comfortable i'll i'll learn them and i'll i'll i mean i'm interested in working on them so they said okay sure then they said uh, this was actually a little funny they asked me they told me that uh, okay so we are done with they asked each other if you have any more questions etc then both of them were like okay we don't have any more questions but little more time was left i think so they were like okay so we we've, we've asked whatever we want to ask we are all ready uh, we have we made a decision but uh, now if you want uh, now uh, you can tell us any of your interests or uh, what uh, what else do you like so that we will ask you questions based on that so then i told them about one of the research papers that i've written recently it's about phishing attacks and detecting phishing attacks using machine learning so they were like okay fine so basically it's based on security so one or two questions they asked me about the research paper how what it is and like that then they moved on again they came back to linux so they were like okay <clears throat> what comes into your mind when i say linux security so that was the question that he asked so then i said uh, so when linux security first I, i was thinking i didn't get immediately nothing came to my mind so first i said um, this about uh, first i i told about ip tables because we 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 do ip tables we write ip tables rules and uh, based on that we allow certain hosts to contact with our machine we do not allow certain hosts to contact with our machine so that i told them about ip tables he said okay good ip tables is good and then do you have anything else about linux security i told them there so many tools in linux like burp suit and all you can use them to get different insights and everything so he said okay fine very good after that he said do you know any uh, particular tool that will give you like about the port numbers and everything open ports closed ports like that about ports and ip addresses these are any tool that will give you information about that then immediately i told nmap because that's the only tool that i've used in college so nmap is like a i i told him nmap is the tool that gives us uh, what ports are open what ports are closed and uh, it gives us a ba- basic overall insight on what uh, like what what is happening in the system uh, security wise so that's what i told them so they were quite impressed uh, with that and then they said okay fine we'll get back to you and that's it the, this round was over this round was very long actually there so many questions and it was very long so this round was over then after some time uh, like around in within 15 to 20 minutes the hr called and uh, he told me that okay uh, so this is uh, fine uh, it was good your interview was good so we would like to conduct the next round of interview this is a managerial round so i do, so he called me and he said when would you like to schedule i mean are you free from in the next one hour? so i said yeah i'm fine it's fine i'm free so uh, then uh, the manager round was conducted on the same day around at 4 or something so the manager was uh, uh, i think the decision was already made by then because my previous round of interview went really well so i think the decision was made so the manager didn't ask me many questions manager round was more 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 like a conversation she was like getting to know me manage the manager basically the team is from china i think so the manager was uh, from china from the chinese team so uh so he uh, she asked me about uh, how my college was going on my previous internship work how what i did there and uh, how how was the experience there and all this stuff so uh, after that they asked me how my college is going on online uh, like college is happening online how how are you feeling and um how would you like how do you like red hat what is, what do you know about red hat all basic questions then she told me about the project that i'll be working on if i get in the project that i'll be working working on she told me that i'll be using a lot of jenkins kubernetes and all this and then they said they'll be working they're mostly working on some operators for for openshift for a product called openshift 
then they uh, she told me that they they are mostly coding in golang there's a language called golang right so they're coding in golang and all this stuff so she she told me that you'll be working on all this if you join and um, so that that was also quite long it was like for half an hour or something uh, we spoke for half an hour she uh, was asking all sorts of general questions like normally like tell me about yourself and like uh, proper she was getting to know me and she was asking me simple questions from my resume like based on what i uh, what i what achi- what uh, projects i had hackathons and these uh, uh, internships previous internships etc so that's it that that round was pretty normal it was it was very smooth and uh, it was very fine so that was over after that uh, the hr again called and he told me that uh, okay uh, i think by then the decision was made it was it was i felt it was very clear that the decision was made that i'll be hired so the hr then called me and then he asked me if i already have uh, have an offer so i told him yeah because uh, i had an offer from i already had an offer from optum for full time but i didn't have an internship so uh, i i went for this internship so i already had an offer from optum so he asked me about uh, about my uh, salary or how much i got in optum i, I mean how much i've uh, uh, how, for how much salary i've been placed in optum so he asked me the ctc and base and everything all the details he asked me and then he told me that uh, so for the internship you don't have any problem right so i mean he asked me if i if i if i was comfortable in doing the internship and until the internship is over there's no problem because my full time would start after the internship only so he told me that okay so you have an offer but of the internship you're free there's no problem so i told him yeah, i don't have any problem and i'll be willing to do the internship so he said okay so basically after uh, after this internship is over when you will get your uh, full time offer here also you will compare between both your existing offer and your new offer and then you'll be deciding right so i said yeah of course uh, i'll i'll do that so i said okay sure then i mean so he said okay fine then that's great uh, uh i'll i'll send you the you, he said that i've i've been shortlisted i've been i've been selected and oh, i'll send you the mail and official every uh, mail and everything so that's what he told me and uh, that's how the that day like i was really happy because red hat is such an amazing company and uh, it was a great experience so uh, when he told me that i got selected i was really really happy and it was uh, it was really great so uh, so what i would like to uh, con- uh, con- say is, uh, conclude by saying that like i would uh, i would like to conclude by saying that uh, Red Hat is not like other companies. It is basically more Linux oriented. So if you want to get into Red Hat, you should be thorough with Linux commands. What, uh, what, like what kind of command? At least the basic ones, the basic Linux commands. You should be thorough with them and a little bit of uh, projects in Linux here and there and using uh, CentOS or uh, Kali Linux, different kinds of Linuxes, and uh, um, being a little hands on on Linux, doing some projects. and then uh, so and then a little bit of shell scripting or something something related to linux if you have some additional knowledge it will be helpful so i would like to conclude by saying that if you want to get into uh, red hat a company like red hat you'll have to uh, these are all basics and they're very easy so it's very easy so i would like to suggest that if you are interested you uh, learn all these linux uh, commands and everything and then it's it's a pretty simple process so once the uh, i got in the internship uh, the internship has started also now so i'm really happy and it's been great so thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe to my channel i'll be coming uh, back with another episode where one of my other friends will be sharing his experience about his interview in the company in in their company so that's it thank that's it for this video thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe thank you